Hey, what's up? This is Spider Prime 1, back in with another Transformers video review. Alright, after a few weeks of hunting down and searching Walmarts and Targets and Toys R Us's, um, I finally found uh, Transformers Age of Extinction Lockdown, uh, the deluxe version. Um, and I, I don't know if I'm just disappointed or, or if all the, the time I spent hunting for him made me overhype him to myself, but I knew it wasn't going to be as good as the others that I have because he's a deluxe and they're all Voyagers, but I don't know, just something about it. I don't, I'm not enjoying it as much as I thought I would. Um, there are still good parts about it and I highly recommend you find this guy. It's just, I'm not enjoying him as much as I thought I would. Um... So let's take a look at him. First off, we have his gun, which is a friction fire instead of a spring-loaded. Um, and what you do is there's these two tabs right here that you put your fingers on and then put your thumb on the back of the gun, and then you pull, and it fires the, fires the, the missile. And then you have to pull the barrel back out ever so slightly, in order to get the the missile to go back in and click into here and when he's packaged in the in the box the gun is in the fired position so when you go to stick the the missile back in you can't get it to stay you have to pull the barrel out and then you'll get the missile to stay in there And then the car mode itself, I really like the way the car looks. I love Lamborghinis. Lamborghinis are so nice. And this is no exception. This is a really nice looking Lamborghini. Um, I do like for robot mode, I do like that there are no windows here. But for vehicle mode, you, you kind of want them. But because of how he transforms and what he uh, ends up looking like, and where the doors go, you don't want those windows there. Um, I do like the back windows uh, being blue. You, the only thing you can really see through them is his feet on the uh, underside, but it, it's a it's a nice touch that they put them in there. It breaks up the the gray, or not gray actually. In hand, this this uh, paint scheme is almost more of a brown than either a dark gray or or the black that he was in the movie. Um, and it looks alright. I kind of would have liked him to be black, but it still looks good overall. And then it's got the little the emblem on the on the front of the hood that would be the Lamborghini logo, but it's too small. Um, and they don't have one on the back. They do have painted taillights, however, which looks which looks nice. So, to transform him, um, first we want to come back here and pull these out and down covering the wheel. So like so. And then we pull the whole door and back wheel out and down. So it's like that. And then we pull the legs out, like this, and then we separate the headlight and part of the hood from the, the middle of the hood, and then we pull the whole thing out, like so. And then before we continue with that, we want to separate the windshield from the roof, and then fold this all the way up. Then we come here, and we flip the chest piece, like so. And then we bring this up. And now there's a peg in the window, right here. And then there's a hole on the spine piece. And those go together. And then we bring... Actually, before we do that, we want to bring these pieces up and under 
the fake chest and then there's a tab right here that goes into a hole on the back of his waist so that it locks securely like so and then we split the feet apart flip the feet forward and then turn it at the knee Oops. turn at the knee and then we turn the arms around like this and we stand him up and then here we have deluxe lockdown in robot mode now he actually does look pretty nice he looks a little chubby due to the way the the car front folds into his chest um, and then his really skinny legs and the the tires coming out on the sides don't really help that image um, but it looks all right. Um, he's got the little missile pods on his shoulders, uh, cast in but not painted, um, that he has in the movie, although they should be facing forward instead of towards his head. Um, his arms look pretty nice. They're molded in. Um, and then, th like I was saying earlier, this is where the window would be um, if they had left it in on the car door. So thankfully they didn't do that. Um... I do like his faux, his faux chest. Um, it looks really nice, and it looks exactly like it does in the movie. Um, and then here's where the hood emblem would be, but they didn't paint it in. Um, instead, there is a little itty-bitty Decepticon symbol right there. And then there's one on this door panel right here. Um, even though... It was clearly stated in the movie that Lockdown has no affiliation with either faction. And then for his gun, um, he can hold it in either hand, so he has a long rifle. And, just like in the movie, um, you can have it give him his gun face. Uh, there's a the little tab right here pegs into the top part of his head, and then this sits behind his head... Um, and this sits behind the the car bit on his back. And just push it in, and there is his gun face. And even though it looks kind of silly, I actually do sometimes just leave him with, with the gun face. Because, really, he never actually wielded a weapon except for that one that he used to extract Ratchet's spark from his chest. Um, but he never actually held a gun. He had the shoulder rockets and he had his gun face. So, so sometimes I'll just leave him like this, or I'll leave him in vehicle mode. Um, uh, my other guys are in vehicle mode right now. Here, I'll transform Galvatron real quick so I can show a size comparison because Galvatron is the easiest to transform of the three. Okay, so here he is next to Galvatron. So he comes up to, to their waists. 
Um, so yeah, heaven. I I really hope that at some point down the line they will release a leader class version for lockdown. Um, cause one, it'll get me to buy the leader class version Optimus Prime, which is the only reason I would buy it. And two, I, this, I, this is probably the main reason why I don't enjoy the toy as much as I should. Because it, he's, he's the main villain of the movie and you gave him a deluxe class figure and not either a Voyager or a Leader class. I I don't know why they did that. That's probably one of the stupidest moves they could have done. And I know one of the reasons why they didn't do a Leader class lockdown, at least as of so far, is because they had to push Grimlock, like all the other um, promotional material was doing. But, come on, he's your main baddie. Even Galvatron disappeared halfway through the movie and just vowed his, sweared his vengeance on Optimus Prime, who left the planet. Um, but I mean, Lockdown deserves better than this. Heck, his flip change, his flip and change figure is taller than this. And that one only gets, like, arm articulation. That's, you're mistreating your villain, and I feel bad for him. Oh well, here's to hoping for that leader class figure. Um, well, I'm Spider Prime 1, this is Age of Extinction Lockdown. I'll be back with another review pretty soon, but until then, I'm signing off.